Hello everyone and one warm and big welcome to all of you that are joining us today in this life-changing webinar. My intention for you today is to really understand how intuition works within you and start relying on it 100% when making decisions. I also want you to leave this webinar uh, with a solid foundation for the rest of the year uh, on how to embark on your wave of personal and business, business success uh, from the place of harmony and courage. So uh, the importance of harmony and courage has been highlighted for the uh, past few months. So um, it's really worthwhile taking care of uh, nurturing those two qualities. So harmony and courage is what we will be needing. So uh, please, if you are here, just uh, put something in the chat. Where are you coming from? Uh, what would you like to know more about, about using intuition? Uh, just say hello so that I know that you can hear me. Uh, Okay, can you hear me? I see that my video is off, probably due to the internet, something's going on. So I will turn off the video right now and I would just like for you that are joining me before we start, before we jump into uh, intuition, uh, how it works, uh, three steps to better intuition, uh, just put in the chat, uh, yes, I can hear you. If you can hear me, okay, someone is typing. <laughs> I will turn the video off for better connection right now. Yes, I can hear you, great, great. Hello and welcome. Uh, so tell me a little bit uh, more about you, where you're coming from and how I can serve you. What's your, let's say, number one uh, um, challenge in using intuition? Um, so all the creation, all the universe works in the direction of pushing us out of our boxes, outside of our comfort zones to basically thrive because thriving is our natural state of existing here on earth and if you're wondering right now whether you are on the right track because you feel like a little restless somehow dissatisfied perhaps even nervous because you don't know what is going on what will be what will happen uh i just want to assure you that you are on the right path and um you are on the right track so uh, yeah, Dile is writing. My number one challenge is discerning between intuition and my thoughts. Great question, Dile, and I will be answering that exact question for you during this webinar. So to me, to me, intuition is all about actively participating in a change, in creating a life full of purpose in the highest possible way, of serving the world, our clients, ourselves, and our families. And by doing so, we also create wealth, harmony, and balance. And it is all possible by relying first on our senses, on our inner wisdom that connects us to the infinite spirit and the universe. And, you know, as we start utilizing our intuition, the vision of the world, how it could be is opening up. And it's opening up right now collectively with this glimpse of a side of a golden age. And there is a comfort in knowing that despite what is happening in the world, we have this possibility. So what I want for you for today's webinar is to, to uh, just turn off uh, everything that is <clears throat> challenging you right now, whether in your mind, uh, your phones, everything, grab a cup of water, coffee or tea and just empty your energy space and your mind because 
when using using him, intuition is also about synchronicity it's also about being in the moment and you can if you are fully present in the moment you can fill it up with whatever you desire you can fill it up with the highest vibration uh, possible but only if you have space <laughs> to fill it with right so um Yes, I want to tell you a little bit about me before we jump into intuition. Um, I started embarking on this path of intuitive leadership, of intuitive living, when I went through the dark night of my soul. So um, I'm really passionate about using intuition because intuition led me to get the answers I couldn't get in 17 years of, of going to school uh, in the environment I was living in the relationships I was having when I literally gave up everything I was building by that time in one weekend and um, yeah I was kind of reborn I I, uh, I, I left my job uh, my relationship at the time because nothing really made sense uh, I couldn't go on uh, like this and my boat that was sailing in really rough seas at the time sank to the bottom of the ocean and you know I, I won't go into the details of my story now uh, if you downloaded my ebook uh, there's a little bit more about this story but I just I had to reset myself and I had to find the purpose of all the events that were happening at the time. And that was 20 years ago. And I was experiencing symptoms like anxiety attacks, uh, really harsh migraines. And, and because I'm not a type to go to the doctor A ASAP, I wanted to help myself heal in a way so i started researching i started um questioning uh searching for answers and that's where intuition stepped in this research into what more is there how can i find answer to what is happening to me at a time how can i uh, heal my migraines my uh, emotional distress so yeah uh, I started, uh, you know, going to the seminars, uh, working with the angels, my mindset and with the energy. And that is that was truly, you know, uh, a path worldwide or worthwhile taking because it led me to create really passionate life full of passion, like uh, my beautiful family. I wrote a book which was uh, on my bucket list i published it i started swimming with dolphins in hawaii uh, which i would never have done before because uh, uh, that was somewhere in my dream but never a reality and it's not just that i even facilitate uh, a retreat in hawaii where we connect and swim with dolphins so i just want to share with you that anything and everything is possible when you start using your intuition and trusting your intuition you can uh, have better relationships you can heal yourself you can uh, create your passionate business because um, 20 years ago i didn't know where this path will take me and the vision that i created the life that i'm living today is much better than i could have imagined back then so uh yeah shamans say that we have two births in this life and even that's the first birth is biological in the space provided by our biological parents and the second birth is when we pass through the dark nights of our souls, through the most difficult life experiences, and we experience an enlightenment, a new birth, a rebirth. That's when we shed our skin, we break apart, 
And when we start taking our power back and we grow stronger, we always rise into real self. And that is also the point of using intuition because if we are not using if we are not true self our power is being taken away from us our inner strength our inner power so we will talk about three steps that will help you improve confidence in your excellent decisions that will be in harmony with the divine with spirit and that will bring you more joy more abundance and vitality. Uh, we will learn about how to separate the voice of the ego or your mind from the voice of your inner wisdom. And let's say, I would say ego or your lower self or your programmed mind, because I will show you in this webinar how intuition and rational mind actually need to work hand in hand. And then, my intention for you also is to make a move in the direction so to to act from this empowered place inside uh so make a move in the direction that is calling you for a while but you haven't dared to make it up until now so if that's okay with you we will dive into the webinar by concentrating so we want to empty our space space be fully present in the moment i call this a micromanaging the moment so let's take a deep breath ah <sighs> if you feel like it close your eyes and focus on breathing connect to the light above connect to the light below and just inhale golden white light through the nose and through the mouth just exhale all the tensions that you may be holding inside your body just do like this and then start breathing naturally through the nose breathing in and breathing out through the nose feel your body relaxing thoughts are leaving your energy field by breathing, we are letting go of everything that doesn't serve the process we are entering with this webinar. We are relaxing and breathing pure, soft, white light and embracing all the good that is waiting for us today. So if there are any thoughts emerging just put them on the shelf beside you like mentally put them on the shelf you can later return to them if you want all i want from you is to be open to the process of connecting to your intuition to your authentic self and higher self today because your inner wisdom clearly knows what is best for you and how your authentic expression looks like so you don't have to think about it you have to feel it pay attention to your center this is the area between your heart and plexus while you breathe in deeply observe a small sphere of golden white light shining in this center there is all your power this sphere is getting bigger and bigger and spreading throughout your physical body throughout your energy field with this beautiful and high vibrational light you can help it by stretching out your hands and making a big sphere around you with your hands wonderful now you are shining like a small sun being the center of your galaxy also call upon the archangel sandalphon asking him to enter your energy field 
and to filter out all the vibrations that are lower than vibration of love. Let this process take place where you breathe deeply into the lower abdomen. We are also calling upon Archangel Michael for protection and asking both Archangels to stay present with us during the entire process. Take one more deep breath in and breath out and slowly come back feeling refreshed and fully present in the moment. So I just want you to put in the chat how you feel right now. And to begin with, let's be clear about how much do you really rely on your intuition. So let the number on the screen come to you intuitively. The first number that comes is the right number. So on a scale from 1 to 10, <laughs> okay, Dili said, I'm relaxed, I almost fell asleep. <laughs> okay, Dili, hang on <laughs> with us for a moment. And it's great that you are relaxed. Uh, the, the, this concentration was meant to keep you in the moment where you can feel your potential with everything that you desire right now, okay? So... How much do you really rely on your intuition on a scale from 1 to 10? 1, never. I always turn exclusively to rational mind. And 10, meaning I always turn first to intuition. Then I use my rational mind. So I would uh, really ask you to put your number into the chat, the number that you got. Just to see. Delay 5, okay. Um, and the rest of you, please put the number into the chat so that I can see where you are, how comfortable you are in relying to your intuition, to using your intuition. So if you received a number that is five, like you, Dili, or less than five, then you are probably afraid to use intuition and still think of this gift as something mystical instead of your natural gift, which helps to create the best version of your life. You don't really trust that fact. So I will try to show you how this system really works. And it's like for those of you who are between one and five, it is like not accepting the care of your parents, of your guardians, who have cared for you all these years until you became independent and often continue to do so. So intuition is a gift from the creator that helps you navigate life on earth more easily, more joyfully and more successfully. So uh, there's work to be done on trusting your intuition if you received a number from one to five. And for the rest of you that are attending this webinar, please put the numbers on how much do you rely on your intuition from one to 10. I'm really curious about uh, that. So if you receive the number between five and seven, so Dili, you are between one and five and between five and seven and please put in the box if you are afraid of relying on your intuition so if you are between five and seven you you know that intuition exists but you still trust the mind before intuition you are still driven by fears comparisons with others acting by the system uh, um, and thinking in the terms of what if, and then deciding on the lesser worst, let's say, not for the, the best that can happen. Um, you remain solely the observer of how other people are using their intuition, but you are not really comfortable in relying on it 100%. And if you received a number between seven and nine, 
you already are following the instructions of your intuition, but in really, really critical, important moments, you may still be scared and rely mostly on your reason. So you need to strengthen your courage, strengthen your inner, inner power, uh, self-confidence in a way, and let intuition um, lead you as the best possible vehicle that has ever, ever existed. existed. So let intuition guide you along the path of your most potent life. So if you don't have 10 in your answer, there's still some work in trusting yourself to be done. So uh, would you agree that we all use some kind of technology, right? And if anyone does not use modern technologies like tablets, computers, smartphones, uh, just write in the chat box because you are really something special then. So, but the biggest phenomenon that I see is the technology that we have brought with, with us to this world. And because we take it for granted, because we are so focused on material things, we often overlook it. We do not appreciate it like many things that are given to us. And we don't have to like struggle for them. And, you know, this is intuition intuition and our biological body is the greatest technology ever invented in my opinion and nothing because nothing new nothing that was developed came from what we already know so where does it come from then you know um it comes from connected to a connection to the vast universe where everything that ever existed already exists. We just need to know how to connect with this unknown potential uh, and to trust it. So um, intuition is really our very, very natural thing. It's not reserved for a special few. We all have it. But whether we use it or not is another question. For a true perception of intuition, for trusting it and for its self-confident use, it is first necessary to know the system, how it works, and actually understand the system. Then we can, uh, at least for me, this is truly important because when I understand things, I can use them. I can fully utilize them as I did with intuition. So I always compare our body with the most advanced organic supercomputer. Uh, and But I just want you to know and be aware of the fact that everything that happens within the body and consequently with us is programmed in advance. Our subconscious mind, which accepts all the messages of the body, tells us uh, what we evoke on the outside as an experience in the form of events in our environment or physical changes in our body. But just like any other body acting through program, we can reprogram ourselves, our body, and functioning of our mind. This, this can, of course, be a lengthy and often difficult process, but the rewards are truly outstandingly rich. And intuition is the most important thing that helps us trusting our intuition. Our higher self is the most important thing uh, to, to learn how to listen to it. And it is for me the greatest gift, gift we have. So um, where does it come from, right? We are living in this vast, complex informational field where everything we can imagine already exists. But how do we access all of this information and which information actually, actually to access? 
So are you still here? Do you follow me? Uh, does that what I'm saying make any sense? Just put something in the chat so that I know uh, that you are still here. So the answer is to remember who we are. Yes, thank you, Dilly. The answer is to remember who we are, to uncover the layers that overlap our perfection, actually. Yes, our perfection, just as Michelangelo did when he said that by looking at the piece of marble, the only thing he needs to do is take off the layers that are covering God's perfection, God's perfect creation. So this is what we need to do to be fully, fully in connection with the universe, with our spirit, with our intuition. And let's take a moment to go through some definitions of what intuition actually is. Uh, Jung is my favorite psychologist and he was very, very intuitive. And he said that intuition is a perception that is not known to consciousness and comes from the unconscious. The mind, however, to work at its full potential needs inspiration or intuition. And I will show you later on how the mind and intuition actually need to work hand in hand so that we can fully develop our potential. And I also admire Steve Jobs for his intuitive state of doing um, what he was passionate about. And he said, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They both already know what you really want to become. Everything else is secondary. So, <coughs> excuse me, by saying that, he's actually saying take one step at a time. Don't be overwhelmed with what you want to achieve or with what with what you think you need to achieve just follow your heart follow your guidance and you will get there and of course nikola tesla i've read uh, both of steve jobs's uh, biography and nikola tesla's biography which i truly recommend and nikola tesla said my brain is just a receiver there is a core in the universe from which we receive knowledge, power, and inspiration. So, with that said, <clears throat> let me ask you did, this. Do, did you ever find yourself in these descriptions? You already knew what you wanted, but later on decided uh, on the opinion of other people you trust that was different from your, let's say, gut feeling or what you wanted. From It was different from what you felt inside. A, yes or no. B, you met a person for the first time and you got this uncomfortable feeling in your stomach or tingling on your skin, on the skin but you didn't know what the feeling was telling you. C, you heard the same phrase several times a day and you said, interesting, this is the third time I've heard the same thing today. D, the phone rang and you already knew who was calling you. E, did you notice maybe the signs in the nature such as roadside, ravens, two swans in a flight, the same animal several times per day in different surroundings? F, did you or do you keep seeing repetitive numbers, etc.? So Billy says A, and the rest of you, uh, please comment in the chat box. Yes. So if you said, if you answered any of these A, B, C, D, E, F questions with a yes, you know how intuition actually speaks with you. Uh, but the question is, do you trust it? Do you trust this information? Do you trust yourself? Because these are some of the ways that intuition 
wants to get your attention and wants to relay important uh, information to you. But often, really often, when I work with, um, uh, with my clients, the biggest inhibitors of using intuition are fears stated here on this slide. Uh, and I see many people, you know, uh, take, making decision based on rational mind or on other people's opinions because of fear of rejection, fear of failure, fear of the unknown, fear of working with the energy. They can step, they can take big steps backwards um, in work with the energy. But I just want you to know if you work with the energy, uh, the bigger the light, the bigger the, the darkness, because they both were, work in this uh, world of polarity. Then there's a big one, fear of taking responsibility for your decisions, fear of losing a job, fear of losing a loved one, fear of leaving someone behind if they follow their inner guidance themselves, fear of entering into all your greatness and uh, very common is also fear of success. Just let me know if you find yourself in any of these fears. Uh, this is all fears are all the opposite of love. Fears are ego based or programmed, I would say. And here we are uh, in the channels of intuitive perceptions. So we receive intuition through four basic channels. Vision, that's called clairvoyance. So we see pictures inside our mind or our outside our mind. Uh, or you receive uh, intuitive guidance in your dreams, or maybe you just start daydreaming, uh, something pops into your head as a vision. All of this is your intuition and is divinely guided. Guided. So notice it and act upon it. If you need to write that down so that it doesn't go away because intuition comes like this gentle, gentle thing, and we can easily, you know, um, disregard the messages that come because we are focused maybe on something else at the moment. Then uh, the second channel is hearing, clear audience. It means basically the same as in vision, only we hear things inside our mind or outside the mind. It is quieter in your voice uh, and it may or may not be similar to yours. And then we have feelings, if you are more clairsentient, it means clearly feeling your inner guidance. It is appearing in the form of emotions or bodily perceptions, smell, muscle tension, gut feeling, tingling skin. And then we have our thoughts, that's clear knowing. It means knowing clearly. So something pops in, into our mind and we know something without knowing where it uh, came from. And we all have access to all four channels of communication with our intuition, but usually we, we have one primary means of receiving guidance and one secondary or lesser channel of communication. And with practice, you can become adept at receiving messages in all four ways. But in the beginning, um, you receive uh, intuitive guidance through the channels that you are naturally using in your everyday life. Let's say if you're a musician, you are uh, you have hearing more developed and you can receive messages through clear audience. If you are, I don't know, a painter, you will receive messages through visions, etc., etc. So uh, 
now that you know that, be aware of how you are receiving your intuitive guidance. And I want to share with you that in the decade, and it has been revealed to me through uh, working on intuitive guidance of the months uh, for several months now, the decade of 220 to 2, uh, 2030, it will be supporting the brave people who are acting outside the box and that are willing to transition from informational to intuitive society. This transition is happening whether we like it or not. So if you are using your intuition, you will have advantage here because the foundations of living as we know it are being, um, I wouldn't say, uh, are being reformed in some way. Then this crystalline structure that massively activates the expansion of consciousness is available to our to us but we need to be um open to receiving like we will be de developing even more human abilities such as telepathy remote viewing telekinesis time travel etc and of course this decade supports feminine leadership style with grace with compassion with authenticity with vibration of love making decisions based on the instructions of the heart and good for all this is truly truly important but many of people if you're serving your clients if you're serving your family whoever you are serving uh this path really can feel uh and seem like a way to the unknown. And that's why I want to assure you that you have a true guidance and system already built within you. So start using it. And I will show you on the tree of life, which is a map of self-discovery. I've been studying the tree of life for a year and then started using it to help people transform to see um, what are their divine gifts and how to implement them into this reality and where hidden blocks can be. Uh, I write e extensive analysis of tree of life for a person. And it, sh it shows us, actually, I started using it in showing how, how important it is to use intuition, how it works, and um, and I will show you now. Basically, I won't go into the details because this is truly a complex system. But I just want to show you that divine me, divine self, comes into the our system of tree of life through the crown, and then it goes like this through the wisdom, understanding, grace, action beauty which is here in our heart center where we can relax all the golden threads of our life connect here in the heart where our soul resides and then it goes further down and here is intuition are you following me just say yes into the chat chat box here is actually where this impulse of intuition that comes from all these places and it's on our right hip if you see the picture of tree of life put on the body here is where this intuitive guidance come to our consciousness and then it travels to rational mind which is here and this is what I wanted to show you. And this is what Jung actually spoke about. We need intuition and we need rational mind to work hand in hand so that we can fully develop our potential and potential and live our most potent life. And it's in the place of our personality and our personality is in a way programmed so you can see how we can fall into the illusion and then you know what realizes here on earth this is kingdom this is our life uh here what actually manifests and realizes depends on this process 
that is happening through the tree of life. Here's a here's the feminine part, here's the masculine part, and here is the power center, I would say. This is a tree of life, truly simplified. And I want to show you further what happens if we don't use our intuition. If we focus our decisions solely on rational mind, which is here, rational mind, then we are somehow handicapped. Can you see that? I covered uh, the, the, the rest of the tree of life because if we are not using our intuition, if we are not connecting to the spirit, if we are not working from our heart, we are very, very handicapped. And it looks like this, like if we would be using only one hand and one leg, right? And the person who works to his full potential uses their senses to receive and transmit information from the environment, which which they then implement in life with the help of reason. So we get the impulse and we use the rational mind to implement everything into our reality. And the person who bases their decision solely on reason is handicapped. In this image literally shows how handicapped we are in our uh, physical and spiritual movement if we don't use our intuition if we don't open our hearts and expand our consciousness and vice versa if uh, because i meet a lot of people who are meditating who say they are intuitive and are using their intuition but actually don't implement it they are not connected they are not really um down to earth as i would say and they struggle with material life so we need both again we need both intuition and rational mind to work hand in hand and i will show you later on how to separate one from another but before i just want to highlight five advantages of intuitive leadership um uh, what and I can, I help many, many of my clients achieve the same when they started relying their decisions on their intuition. Life in constant stress and fear, full of worry, thinking in terms of what if ceases to exist. Second advantage, believe that anything is possible and that there are solutions to all challenges or purpose strengthens because we may know that but if we don't really leave all of that then it's futile like just knowing that the third advantage of intuitive leadership is clarity concerning the next steps and the sense of security that comes with it becomes our new normal you begin to feel that you have scissors and the canvas of your life in your hands and you start feeling it with the fullest potential and things you may have just dreamt about before will miraculously begin to appear in your life uh, i have this picture here where i'm swimming with dolphins i dreamt about this for 40 years and never truly thought that it is possible for me but when i followed my intuition it just happened and since then i've been um doing that facilitating retreats in hawaii working with my clients expanding consciousness and working with dolphins and that i truly truly that was truly as we say a dream come true <clears throat> so i want to tell you <clears throat> in just a second i need to drink something I just want to assure you that whatever you are experiencing in your life right now, life has no errors. Every experience we have led us to discover ourselves, led us closer to our path, closer to fulfilling our potential. And probably each one of us finds themselves in, in this way when we look back to recognize and see that every experience happened for a reason. Uh, 
what would you say if, as far as your experience go do you do you really feel that every experience happened for a reason because it actually did uh, i felt for a moment uh, in my past that i'm uh, totally i was put totally in the, the wrong place in the wrong time yes yes <laughs> really, yes i felt the same way but then i saw that everything was for a reason so the number one step to better intuition and a power decision is um, knowing how to separate inner wisdom from the voice of your ego or your lower self. And you can achieve this in these three steps. Ask yourself, how do I feel? And then you can even write it down be honest with yourself and then ask yourself how do i want to feel and when making the decision decide upon what makes you feel better and that's it that's how you separate the voice of ego the voice of fear from the voice of your higher self it's re i know it's really simple and it is meant to be simple this system of intuition is meant to be really, really simple. Step two to better intuition and empower decisions is before you decide to react, always ask yourself, what, how do I feel? Uh-huh, Dili is uh, just a second. How do I feel? Voice of wisdom. Yes, ask yourself, how do I feel? And then let's say, Dili, you are facing a decision. And then there's one voice telling you to decide on A and the other one. And you feel like this is not a good decision. Uh, you want to go with B, let's say. So ask yourself, if I decide on A, how will I feel? If I just decide on B, how will I feel? And then decide upon the answer that brings you more fulfillment, harmony, love, and joy. Because, okay, you got your answer. Great, really great. That makes sense, yes. Because intuition is always this loving voice, always lovingly guiding us. If it's not love, it's not intuition, okay? So the second step to better intuition and empower decision is ask yourself, what would love do? Then write down the answer if necessary, and then and then use your mind, your rational mind, to put the instructions of your intuition into practice, as I said before. And then step three to better intuition and empower decision is regular practice of intuition. It's testing. You won't know how intuition works within you if you don't test it. Uh, for me, it really helped to eat healthy food and I became naturally, as I was developing my intuition, all my senses, I uh, put um, away all the meat and then I became a vegan. And it's all intuitively led. It's not by some conviction um, for, you know, like the animals, etc. But I was listening to my body. What? my body wants and when i eat vegan i i have this uh sense of fulfillment and happiness inside of me when i eat a really healthy vegan food physical exercises i'm regularly exercising doing this energy training uh so that i have um um so that the energy flows through our, out my physical body then avoid negative influences from the environment. This is really important, especially in the times that we are in. There's so much, we are bombarded with so much negativity uh, that uh, we really need to, you know, like we are washing our body, we need to wash off those influences every, every single day from our energy field. Creativity is truly important. And of course, conscious living 
which is being in the moment, deciding in the moment, being aware of what is going on, lies from the truth, uh, etc. So, um, yeah, every it's not good so sorry i can't turn on my camera we can learn how to use the system of intuition and it will help us in many different areas of our life increase productivity personal satisfaction find creative solutions make better decisions than before get tips on how to create abundance prosperity most importantly, read other people. Help if you're working with your clients. I believe that uh, if with clients, I believe that using intuition is a must because you can then uh, provide better service, maintain vitality and health, create quality relationships uh, that are based on connecting from heart to heart, not from mind to mind. Create uh, develop our potential which I truly believe uh, we are here for developing our potential, live creatively, harmoniously, and in synchronicity, and as I said, serve our clients at the highest possible level. So uh, before we go into initiation, uh, into the expression of the soul, and doing from the field of courage and love, this is truly great initiation that was downloaded um, for the purpose of this webinar. Before we go into this, I want to share with you how you can um, enhance trust in your intuition, understand the system, and create passionate life. Uh, maybe make bold steps that you that are waiting for you to take but you don't have the courage to do them uh, so if you want me to share that i will share with you uh, the program um, that i have created that leads you step by step into practical use of intuition authentic life and achieving your great vision and desires faster than ever and this is intuitive leader six month coaching program with me with um with life calls uh and workbooks where you will work on your charisma on your authenticity on your inner power um so how does this program really work you receive we meet once per month on coaching called calls and once per month i will be facilitating live meditations for the group uh, you receive so twice per month you have a chance to meet with me uh, and the group you receive workbooks recordings uh, meditations that you work on in your own time uh, it says here we meet on six call live calls which are coaching calls plus we will be meeting in live meditations. Uh, you get individual feedback on your work with intuitive guidances and tips. Uh, you get all the recordings of what we are doing because it's really uh, also an educational program and you get one private session with me. And we will have, uh, this is new Intuitive Leaders Online Party if you join the program so what do we actually do we learn about the intuition the system and how it works we do practical exercises that will help you develop all of your intuitive channels we are working on 12 to 15 chakra energy system testing intuitive channels um, we work on concrete um, goals that you have, your intentions, because uh, I'm really practical about using intuition and I want everybody to use it in practice to really create this balanced life here on earth and enjoy our life here. So we are working on realization of your intention by using and implementing 
implementing intuitive guidance. We work on energy system for 5D living. We need to prepare for that, but our energy system needs to be aligned with those qualities. We work on intuitive leaders' qualities, uh, or we gain clarity regarding your purpose. We learn how synchronicity works and how to actually step into the synchronicity. We are working on the formula of the universe, which is unique and collectively the same, I would say. We are strengthening and opening up intuitive channels. And we are also working on the development of intelligence of our hearts, which is the basis of intuitive living. So um, modules that you will be getting um, are module one, how does intuition work within you? Module two, to intuition, the system and qualities of intuitive leaders, uh, then strengthening of your inner power, then you work on your energy system, then one module is all about synchronicity, and the last model is uh, all about the intelligence of the heart and activation of intelligence of the heart. And there is a bonus mod module that will truly, truly help you if you are um, in any kind of service uh, to your clients. In, you also get a certificate, intuitive uh, leader program certificate. And I just want to share with you a few stories of people that said yes to themselves. Like Zvezdana, uh, she said, fortunately, intuition led me to this program. I, I came to life anew and also succeeded in business. I still have wings and I'm flying. It's truly a worthwhile investment. She was mostly focused on her business and she truly, truly flew there. Uh, then there is Lata. She said, I'm much calmer, more successful at work, and I don't burden myself as much with my weight anymore. I stopped gaining weight because she stopped focusing so much on her weight, working on her energy system, on intuition. Uh, she started actually to lose weight. Uh, then there is Illy. She's a, she's a, she was truly, truly intuitive before she came into the program, but she started to develop more of her potential and started serving her clients better. She said each module addresses a specific part of the path of self-exploration and provides guidelines for the development of our potential. So what's the investment into the program? If you join the program today, what you see on the screen is only for you if you are joining um, just uh, let me pull up the uh, just give me a second here because I want to pull up enrollment form. Um, for you here, uh, uh, why doesn't it work? Please give me a second here. So if you enroll today, this is only an offer, one-time offer. Uh, and these bonuses that you get are not on my website of Intuitive Leader. You can save um, quite a lot because the full price of the program is uh, 1,890 euros. And if you decide to join the program today, you get it for only 90, uh, 999 euros. And you can also pay in 12 installments uh, because usually it's, um, 12 installments of 119 euros you the, the second bonus that you get is individual intuitive guidance for 2022 you get advantages potential challenges of the year ahead and where to direct your energy 
so that you can easily create. Uh, you get it on three pages and you also get one answer in the form of a recording uh, to one question. Uh, and it's worth 120 euros and you get a private coaching, additional private coaching hour uh, with me worth uh, 250 euros. So your savings would be 1,261 euros. If you feel like you want to dive deep into your intuition and develop your potential. And you also get super bonus, which is the tree of life analysis, which I, uh, do. And this is only if you join today and pay in full, uh, so this analysis goes through strengths, weaknesses, and divinely given gifts according to the Tree of Life on 15 to 18 pages. And it also includes the meditation in harmony with the divine spirit. And you also get two hours of uh, explanation of uh, this Tree of Life analysis. So altogether, if you join today, you can save 2000 uh, euros on this program, which is uh, worth what I would say. So I will try to pull up the uh, enrollment form here so that uh, if you felt this program, if you feel like this is something that would be of value to you, you can join today or I will be sending it later in the email because I see I have some uh, technical issues here. Cancel. Just give me a second, please. Uh, click here. No, I can't pull it up right now so i will be sending you later on the link to this form and you can get all of these bonuses that are not on my website just um say yes if something if that resonates with you please um comment in your comments yes here's also one story of martina um she has we were working together on her intuition and uh, she said that this influence uh, helped her uh, change her life for the better what she was working then Simona embarked on her path of personal and business success she said I no longer listen to other people but I decide for my self which is which is actually truly important Thank you all for being here and for sharing this space with us. If you have any questions, please comment below or send me an email. See you soon.